Welcome to the Sparkle Z Boutique. Today I'm coming to you to show you what I came up with with my black wall I have in my living room. If you remember in a previous video, I will link it down below. I was telling you that I wanted to have a black wall with black shells. And I'm showing you in these pictures the many different ways you can use floating shells. I've used floating shells before in my home. However, now that I have painted my wall black, the white floating shells would not blend in the way that I wanted them to. So I needed to address two issues, not spending more money for black shells. So I needed to figure out a way to get my white shelves black. And also I had to deal with the big problem that i had and I know other people have of the floating shell sagging. So I am going to take care of both of those issues for you. And if you want to see how I did that, you know what you got to do. Keep watching. Okay, we're going to start off with these white IKEA light shelves and I also have these IKEA wall shelf brackets and I will leave a link to everything down below. I started off with this matte black spray paint from Rust-Oleum and I purchased this from Amazon but they also have it at Home Depot and I put two coats of spray paint on the white IKEA like shelves. And this is the spray paint attachment that I always put on my spray cans because it make the spray come out more evenly and it has less drips, if any, and it makes the paint go on consistently. I'm so happy that you are taking this time with me. I will also love if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel like this video and set up notifications so you can be notified every time I post. When you view my videos and share them, they really help my channel and it really motivates me to wanna to come and give you more content. Make sure that you do this in a well-ventilated area and you protect the surfaces that you are spray painting over. I'll use the drop cloth because I don't wanna damage the wood. And also I wanted to mention, I use these Ikea wall shelf brackets because the Ikea shelves, I've used them before and they always end up sagging or they're not stable. And that I'm not the only person that have experienced this with these shelves. And it is amazing to me how well these brackets keep these shelves leveled still and they don't sag and they really look very nice and you will see that later on in this video oh and guess what these shelf brackets are under a dollar a piece i think they're like 74 cents of course i will link them down below okay after you've given the spray paint a day to completely dry you're going to take this what they call a hidden suspension bracket and it goes inside this floating shelves and that's what makes it so that the shelf is quote floating but again we're going to put these brackets under these shelves but the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to take this frog tape and put it on the back of the shelf so that i can kind of make a stencil or pattern for how they're gonna look on the wall. And I did a chalk diagram where I measured out so I can make sure they are even and leveled before I actually strewed them in the wall because my biggest concern with these six shelves is making sure that they were spaced correctly and they were also leveled. 
And as you can see, I'm just taking some scissors and putting a hole where the hole is in this is the bracket so that when I put the bracket on the wall, because you, when you put these shelves up, you put the bracket up first and then you put the floating shelf on top of the bracket. And therefore, if I, once I put these pieces of tape on the wall and in theory, put the brackets up, put the shelves up and everything should be leveled and even, sp evenly spaced. Also, I put the tape completely across the whole back because if you notice the brackets are na more narrow than the actual shelf. So if you just measure out the bracket, it's like five inches on each side. I'm, I'm estimating because I don't know for sure. So that if you don't account for that space, you're going to, when you put the shelves up, you may have them too close together and that is not going to be good. So that way I make sure that I measured it completely across so I can have a complete idea of how wide the floating shelf is going to be on the wall. Okay, now I'm going to take that strip of tape and I am going to put it on my chalk diagram that I made earlier to make sure that everything is going to look exactly how I want it to look. And as you can see, I'm making sure it lines up with the level lines that I already added. And I'm going to press down the tape, making sure that it is sticking so that it will stay up. Okay, and this is the grid that I have set up where I know exactly where to put the shelves at. And as you can see, the holes are visible. What I did was measure 18 inches from the wall and four inches on each side of this wall. So what I first did is I put the line um, down the wall of how far I wanted it in first on both sides with chalk. I use this chalk, but I would recommend you get something smaller or a more finer point. I just use that because that's what I had in the house. And so then after I did the measurements from where I wanted on each side, then as you can see the holes that I made where I knew I got to put in that inside part of the floating shells and I will show you that later but I just wanted you to get a diagram of how I was able to get everything even and I'm also use these wipes to get the chalk off but you come off very easily and so as you can see, the diagram is gonna help me tremendously once I start installing these shelves. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the shelves and I'm gonna leave the one at the right bottom to show you exactly what I did. Okay, I wanna come back guys, cause I just saw something and I didn't wanna fix it without showing you just in case you do it. As you can see, these are the holes. And if you look at this hole and that hole, you can see that one is higher than the other because I put the tape on upside down. So just pay attention to that because if I wouldn't have paid attention and put those shelves up, they wouldn't have been level. So I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna show you the difference. See, as you can see now, it's correct. It's on the same level. But you can also double check it with a leveler, of course. Okay, I use a pen to measure with a lever, leveler. And as you can see, it's exactly right where I have it. Just wanted to come back and show you guys that. Okay, now I'm gonna take this bracket and the holes that I made, I'm gonna make sure that the hand, you know where you see where I'm holding in that the holes of the bracket are over the holes that I made in the tape and then I'm gonna take a pencil and color in where the screws are supposed to go and then I will screw it in 
Okay, what you see me doing now is taking the bracket and matching it up to the shelves to make sure that it's on the same level. And I'm taking a pin and making sure I follow the line and I'm marking it again to make on the from the top to make sure that I'm going to be placing it exactly where it needs to be to be level. Okay, I'm going to be using these drywall, drywall strews that I got from Home Depot. And I love the way that these really go into the drywall really easily. And I also noticed that these hold better um, with the bracket that I'm going to put on because they're a little longer in length. And so it gives it enough space to go through the bracket and then to go to through the folding shelves. But you will see what I'm talking about shortly. Okay, they have these arrows that are on this bracket that shows you what direction they supposed to go in. And I was about to put it up upside down. So the arrow need to be pointing down. And now once the arrow is pointing down, I'm gonna go in now and match up the holes and go ahead and add these strews to the holes that I've already added to this tape. And I know you're thinking, why I did not I take the tape down? But don't forget, this tape is a guide. So once I get the brackets up there, I will remove the tape. I know I could have came up with an easier way to remove that tape, but hey, I did the best that I could and it worked out in the end, so it's all good. Okay, I took a regular screwdriver and Put the shoe in a little bit so that is where I want it to be, but not all the way to the wall. So I can take this opportunity to remove the tape and then I would take the electric drill and take the shoe in the rest of the way. But you can do it all by hand. It was just easier to do it with the drill. Okay, now I'm going to take this shelf and put it over the bracket. And then I'm going to be putting up the additional IKEA wall bracket so to hold it up to make sure it don't sag. Okay, this bracket has four holes in it, but I'm only going to be able to use, is there are two on the top and two on the bottom. And I'm only going to be able to use one on the one that I actually use on the shelf, but I can use both screws on the ones that's going to be on the wall. And I promise you that is enough for it to be staple. I would not recommend putting any additional holes in the lock shelves. I'm just using uh, the hole that exists where the regular screw would go to keep the folding shelf up. 
and that was plenty. Like I said previously, I'm taking this Lysol wipe and just going across all the shells and making sure that I remove all the chalk marks. And look how good that looks, guys. I cannot wait to style these shells and to get this buffet black. I'm loving the way it's turning out so far. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. And also, if you also notice, you can't see none of the green tape anywhere. So that worked out just fine. Okay, here are the shelves. These are not styled. These is just a few things I just put up there really quick. I will be doing a video very shortly showing you how I'll style these shelves and I want to add some lights under the shelves and I am so excited about how it came out and more videos are coming soon and I want to post every week going forward so make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss any of the fun. Do you do you see how stable that shelf is, I am moving it, it's not budging any, I love it. And I love you guys. And as always, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time, bye.